Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button. I was um, having a conversation with Pastor Chuck Smith some years ago. And for those of you that don't know Chuck, he is called the father of the Jesus movement. And he was right there at the epicenter of this great awakening. And I once asked Chuck, Chuck, do you think we'll ever see another Jesus movement? He paused for a moment and he said, would you stop asking me stupid questions? No, he didn't say that. No, he should have said that because I always was asking him questions. <laughs> he said, Greg, I'm not sure if we're desperate enough. Now that was some years ago. I think we may be desperate enough right now where we're really gonna start seriously praying about this. Psalm 85, six says, will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? It's a prayer of the psalmist, Lord, revive us again. I love these words from Habakkuk chapter three, verse two, where he says, I've heard all about you, Lord. I'm filled with awe by the amazing work you have done in this time of deep need. Revive your work as you did in days gone by. So I know you that are younger, you think, oh, that's cool, but that was then and this is now. Your prayer should be, Lord, do it again. It's our responsibility, as those who are now older, to pass this on to the next generation. In Joel 1.3, it says, tell your children about it. Let your children tell their children and their children the next generation. My generation, one of our theme songs was forever young. Just isn't work anymore. You know, we've gone from acid rock to acid reflux. Um, <laughs> You know, The Who, the great band, The Who, you know, that song talking about my generation, they've updated it to talking about my medication. See, that's, and <laughs> you know, The Beatles, how many of you have heard of The Beatles? Well, the Ringo Starr is out touring right now. He's in his 80s. And instead of singing, I get by with a little help from my friends, he's singing, I get by with a little help from the pens. So. <laughs> These are the jokes, Hans. <laughs> no, but seriously, you know, we've had our day, and now it's time for the next generation to have their own spiritual awakening.